Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be very different and not something I thought I'd be making so soon, but here we are I guess. Before I fully explain what's actually happened, I'll give a bit of background information. If you've seen last week's video, you'd know that I brought in my best friend to compete at a reigning show located at Golden Leaf Stables, where we had some pretty good luck and took home some gold. However, in the process of that, my stallion Tucker and her mare Moon met and became inseparable like some sort of sappy love story you see in the movies. We thought it was adorable, and I even brought up the idea of breeding the pair to see what sort of reigning babies we could produce. However, I forgot two things. One, never underestimate the romance between a mare and a stallion. And two, Tuck has a bad habit of taking things into his own hands. You left Moon in that paddock, right? Yes, and I shut the gate, I swear. I don't know how this could have happened. Tuck is gone too, so I can only assume that they had a bit of fun last night. Where do you think they would have gone? I don't know. We'll go look at the security tapes to see what really happened last night. I sure hope that this is just a big misunderstanding. Why that sneaky little troublemaker? He can open the gates? Did you know this? Uh, sort of. He's done it in the past when he was a cult, but he hasn't done anything like this since. Yeah, well, now he has proper motivation. This is all my fault. It's okay. I'm not blaming you. They're horses. And they're both stubborn as mules, that's for sure. But if I don't see Moonshine again, then I'll be blaming you. Tucker! We've been looking for hours. I'm sure they couldn't have made it too far. The pastures are fenced off. Uh, 
Okay, well, I think we should head back. Saddle up some horses and maybe cover some more ground on horseback. Yeah, I agree. So, what are we going to do if Moon is, you know, pregnant? I'm trying not to think about that right now. I just want to find my horse. We will. Tuck wouldn't let anything happen to her. I promise. I think I see them. Where? Over there. <laughs> I think we were both completely relieved when we finally found our horses. Tuck had some scratches on his legs, so I just had my mom check him out and get those wounds dressed so that he could heal quickly. But I'm sure you all are wondering about something much more important, and quite honestly, so am I. Everyone knows that Tuck and Moon are the Romeo and Juliet of the barn, and I never expected them to pull something like this, but they did, and now we're being faced with new and even bigger challenges. Once we got Moonshine back safely, Skylar anticipated the day she could take Moon to a vet to receive an ultrasound. She waited about two weeks before the ultrasound could take place, and we were both overly anticipating the results. We finally have some clear results on the testing that we performed on your mare, and I am happy to report that Moonshine is expecting. Moon's pregnant? We're gonna have a foal! So far, it is healthy, and everything looks good. Uh, as far as the supplements and other things she'll need like care for, she'll need lots of exercise and pasture turnout to stay fit and healthy. Um, and also, you can still ride her up to about three months before her expected birth. Okay, thank you. This is so exciting! For the next 11 months, we'd both be keeping a very close eye on Moon to ensure the safety of both her and her foal, and we made sure to keep her active on supplements to provide vitamins for the baby. Hey! Hey, Sky. How's Moon? Uh, I don't know. She's been a little off lately. What do you mean? She's just been progressing a lot faster than my other mares. She definitely looks pregnant. That's the thing. The foal isn't expected to be born for another month, and she's been showing signs that she's ready to foal. Maybe you should contact her vet, see if there's something that they can find. That's what I was thinking.